Thank you for watching another episode of Tutorials for Morons. Um, this one's going to be a simple how to change your account name in Windows 7. So to start out, um, your account name will show up when you have your screen locked, which I can't show you here, but it'll show up here. Um, if you go to your documents, your account name, you know, your local disk, and then um, go into users of course it'll show your account name here so you can have multiple accounts on Windows 7 you know if you have a wife or a spouse or you know a husband whatever you like or if you have uh, children you can have different types of accounts so go ahead and hit your start menu and then you're gonna go to control panel and you have a few different options here you can actually either go to user accounts or you can type in um, user accounts and then um, it'll actually bring up over here um, user accounts, add or remove users, create standard users. I'll just click on the main user accounts and then it's going to go to, you can see my user account right now is Jeff. So I'm going to change my account name and I'm going to do, you'll see you can change your password here, remove your password, change your picture, change your account name, change your account type. So there's administrators and then standard users. Administrators can add and remove programs, standard users you can add different, you know, I only want them to be able to access the internet, you know, parental controls or I don't want them to be able to install any programs. So we're going to do it, go ahead and do just change your account for this tutorial and I'm going to call it Jeff B, part of my last name, and change the name. Now it says Jeff B here, if you go to start menu you'll see that it'll say, it'll show, actually if I lock it and come back into it, it'll show Jeff B as a, as a account name. Um, but I can't lock it because we're you know in the middle of a video so I'm gonna go ahead back and do a change your account name I'm gonna change it back to Jeff I'll also since this was a very short one I'll show you how to create another account as well later on as we get into these videos I'll show you how to do um, you know account permissions and everything but if you want to add another account so you have a spouse coming over you have your spouse that wants to use the same computer or a kid you can go uh, to manage another account and you'll see that there's Jeff and Guest. So Guest account is used if you have a friend coming over, you don't want them to be able to get into your documents and everything. You can just go ahead and do Guest, and I want to turn on my Guest account. And so now you can switch users to Guest account, and they won't be able to see any of your files or folders. They'll be able to see the applications you've shared with them, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Oh, and they can't install any programs or change any settings that'll, that'll wreck your computer. So I'm going to turn the guest account off. So let's go ahead and create a new account for our kid. Uh, my kid's name is Caden. So I'm going to create an account for Caden. I'm going to make him a standard user. He doesn't need administrator rights. He's one and a half. There's no reason that he's going to need to install any programs. Go ahead and create that account. <clears throat> As it creates the account, it's going to put everything that you need in it. And it looks like Windows 7 is not responding. Thank you so much, Bill Gates. Okay, so you notice, I'll use this as a quick tutorial here. It said uh, it's not responding. I know that it's never going to come back, so I just hit cancel. So let's go back into control panel. Um, and we're going to go ahead and type in user accounts. And uh, manage another account. And you'll see Caden is there as a regular account. So now he can log in as Caden. I'm going to go ahead and delete this account because there's no reason for it to be in. I'm going to delete the files, so those are two. Otherwise, you know, if I delete an account, but, you know, for instance, if I had a girlfriend and she left and, you know, I'm just going to delete her account, but she wants her files, I can keep files and I'll actually put a folder on the desktop, you know, called the account name. So there'd be a file, a folder on the desktop called Caden. Then I can drop that onto a flash drive or, you know, burn it to a CD or a DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and delete files here and delete the account. And now the account's gone. So there's just a quick and easy way. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and you can view more videos at youtube.com slash tutorials for morons, or you can go to facebook.com slash tutorials for morons, and um, later on tutorials for morons.com. Thanks for following, and thanks for watching this, and uh, have a wonderful day, guys.